100% of revolutions have been successful through fighting back, through bloodshed. Gavin Long's videos didn't always make much sense, but what was clear was that he was angry. An Iraq veteran turned online lifestyle preacher, he murdered three police officers yesterday. His last videos appeared to anticipate that today people would be asking why. They'll try to put you with ISIS or some other terrorist group or anything. No, I'm affiliated with the spirit of justice. I don't know who this man is. A passerby filmed as Gavin Long began to shoot at officers. And as more arrived, it became clear they'd been ambushed. After eight minutes of shooting, Gavin Long was dead. So were Officer Matthew Gerald, Deputy Brad Garofola, and Officer Montrell Jackson. Jackson had only posted days ago on Facebook about what it's like to be a black officer in the tent city of Baton Rouge. I love this city, he said, but I wonder if this city loves me. In uniform, I get nasty, hateful looks, and out of uniform, some consider me a threat. These are trying times. A fortnight ago, a black man in Baton Rouge was killed by white officers. There were protests, and at one in Dallas, five officers were shot dead. President Obama now faces a complex crisis of policing, guns and race. Nothing justifies violence against law enforcement. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us and the rule of law that makes society possible. A fourth officer is critically ill in hospital and colleagues are stationed outside. Those there to serve and protect, increasingly needing protection themselves. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.